Hi, I'm Rowley from R. Gilderson Builders. We're a small building company based here in Hamilton. We do a lot of bespoke work, quite a few alterations. We do a little bit of a development work as well. We've developed an interest in sustainable building and products. Just from looking around and seeing what's going on as an industry, we dump so much material. We just really need to tidy up our act and we sort of thought, oh, we'll do our bit. And, and it gives you a real good feeling when you're like, not throwing everything out and not filling up skips. Sustainability is important to me because I don't own a rocket ship and I'm not moving to another planet anytime soon, so we've got to look after this one. We've been doing things a bit different here on site to reduce our waste. Sorting our building products into recycle, reuse and waste, we're saving up to 75% of material that would have previously gone to landfill. Waste reduction doesn't cost us anymore, it just shifts the cost from dumping to labour and gives you a massive feel good factor. During the design process we try to ensure that there's adequate area and access for the new curbside rubbish and recycling bins from the Hamlin City Council. Also during the design phase we make a bit of a plan of where our recycling areas are going to be on site, where our toilets go, just to try and minimise the rework and the shifting of things unnecessarily during the building process. We cut a lot of our materials on site and when I'm ordering I'm trying to make sure that I'm ordering like good lengths of materials so that we don't end up with a lot of waste. With our materials we try to reuse a lot of them because things can be used multiple times. You could demolition some timber and if you denail it, put it to the side, it can be reused again for like props, bracing, any number of things. Any beam off cuts are great as base plates for your scaffolding. Real daggy bits of timber can turn out to be good pegs for your next job for profiles. For putting the floors down, all the perimeter timber was recycled timber that we had got from the existing building that was on site. From that, we brace to our shutters, which our shutters are reusable. All our braces are steel custom braces, so they are reusable basically forever. The house on site looked like it was going to be a good shifter. So we called a local mover that we know and they came round and they gladly took the house off our hands for us and the house is now reused. So that saved a whole heap of waste from uh, the option of demolition and saved me a whole heap of money as well. So bits and pieces around the building, the existing building that is, we were able to recycle, which was quite cool. So Trade Me came in handy. We sold the front picket fence for some good money. Somebody turned up, picked it up. It was super simple, no drama, no mess. And people are just super pumped to be buying this stuff and there's no need to be dumping it. This is the sort of thing that can be reused. The trees on site, uh, any big timber we were able to use for firewood. Certainly if we get like trees that are worth milling, we will contact a person and they'll mill them and they deal with them. Doesn't cost us anything and they make a dollar out of it in the end. So anything from the trees that, that can't be milled or turned into firewood, uh, we, we get the digger to load that for green waste. On any site, we try to have areas of sorting for recycling or reuse. So we have baskets for steel, baskets for plastic, and we have like a, typically an area for compost. When I'm trying to find solutions for recycling and reuse, sometimes it's best just to pick up the phone if you can't find it on Google and, and ring someone. Suppliers might know what needs to happen to their product uh, when, it's, when it's finished with. For example, like polystyrene suppliers, the people that we use, they deliver bags to site with the polystyrene. All the offcuts go in the bags and when we're done with them, they turn up and pick the bags up and take away all our polystyrene, which gets recycled. With our recycling of metals, we take it to a local scrap dealer. It's definitely worth your while. All our recyclable plastics, we take to the local transfer station where they're recycled there. Our concrete waste, we take to a local concrete recycler. They'll make it into builder's mix, drainage metal and other products. All of our compost on site that we have from say lunch scraps just gets mixed in with our topsoil right at the end of the job. Once you start to get into recycling and reuse it just becomes normal and it doesn't feel real hard, it's just what you do and you sort of feel like you don't know any different. So to get the staff interested it's usually pretty easy. The more they do the more they get into it and then it just becomes like an everyday thing and it, it becomes simple and then people get pumped on it like my guys really get into the metal recycling so that when, when we go to the recyclers with our stuff, they take their stuff from home as well at the same time. It saves a trip. Lots of our customers are getting super pumped about waste reduction on site, especially when it's their site that we're doing it on. Builders that are thinking about reducing your waste, I'd say do it. Do it for yourselves, do it for society and do it for the planet.